What's going on you guys? Zeke coming at you here with a couple of tips and tricks on how to paint a tree. We're gonna jump right into it. Now for this painting we're gonna need two brushes, a large flathead brush and a small flathead brush and a sponge. First thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a surface area for my tree to be on. Now when you're making lines you want to keep in mind that the more pressure you apply to the canvas the more thick and the more uncontrollable your line is going to end up being. So for example if I'm light with my brush stroke I'll come out with a nice controlled line like this one or if I apply pressure to it I'll come out with a thick line like this. What you want to keep in mind whenever you're making a tree is that the trunk of a tree is a little bit thicker than the rest of the tree. It needs to be able to support its own weight. So make it a little bit more wide down at the bottom and then let it thin in out as you make your way up the canvas. Now the same rule applies whenever you're working with branches. The part of the branch that connects to the tree is a little bit thicker than the rest of the branch as it moves away from the tree. Keep in mind that branches grow towards the sun, so anytime you're making a branch, at the base of the branch it will V away from the tree. The same rule applies with your branches that branch away from other branches. Now for the smaller branches, I'm going to go ahead and grab my smaller flathead brush and I'm gonna extend these branches and make them a little bit more thinner using the smaller brush. After I feel like I've made my tree dramatic looking enough, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab my sponge. I like to keep the focus of the foliage around the edges of the tree branches and then slightly bring it in to the tree itself. Don't get too carried away or you could have a mess on your hands. Now to go ahead and give this a little bit better of an effect, I'm gonna use my brush on its edge like I did to make the tree itself. And I'm gonna make these little blades of grass across my surface area. Now we can leave this all as a silhouette, but if you want to give your tree just a little bit more dimension, get a little bit of white, make some gray, and drag that gray through the wet black paint and give your tree a little bit of texture. That is going to be a wrap on this quick lesson on how to paint a tree for beginners. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, hit the like button, share it out to your friends, drop us a comment below, let us know what you'd like to paint. My name is Zeke, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I hope to see you soon. Until then, we'll see you at the canvas.